Good morning. It is the last regular season tournament of the year for Ace and I. We're gonna be fishing out of the Occoquan Reservoir for those of you that do not know that we fish the Fountainhead Bass Club tournaments. So my buddy Rob is coming to pick me up right now with the boat because my truck is out of commission right now. As some of you guys may know, um, if you could do me a favor, go click the link in the description below and help me out by buying a Jigs All Day t-shirt. Um, all the money that I make from that's gonna go toward getting a new truck. I uh, just found out yesterday that it's totaled. So my buddy Rob will get into that, how I totaled it, how I screwed it up, but whatever. Let's just get this boat ready, wait for Rob to get here, and we're gonna get out to the res, hopefully catch some big bass today. All right, on the way. Thanks to Rob for picking me up. Mr. Me out of bed for this. <laughs> it's a stick. Hey, can you tell them what I did to my truck? Uh, so the transmission cooler lines rusted and got a pinhole in it and it uh, sprayed a fine mist of transmission fluid on the hot exhaust and set it on fire, but because he kept driving, not knowing what he was doing, he smoked the transmission. So, that truck's going to Ford Heaven. So, it's Matt's, done. Yeah, that's probably going to get like a used Hyundai Sonata or something. <laughs> that's the move. So, I am going to have yeah. to get a new car, unfortunately, or a new tow vehicle. But a donkey. Big donkey right here. That's me. We'll see you on the water. All right, let's do it. Last regular season tournament of the year. Starting off with the frog. This is a Lunker Hunt something frog. I don't know the name of it, but we're gonna try to catch a fish. So Ace and I are starting the day off working these shallow grass lines with some topwater frogs. Gonna see if we can get a quick reaction strike early. Try to get a couple fish in the well. Maybe actually catch a limit today. I said we're going to catch three. Not to be negative or anything. But, oh, that's good. Uh, he looks short. Throw him back. <laughs> He's short. But damn if he didn't eat it. Yeah, he ate it all right. Spot number one was a bust. Ace did catch one on the frog though. Let's go. What are you doing back there? <clears throat> Jiggly. I think I have officially fished every one of my rods. I'm gonna go try out some uh some coves. Gonna get inside of some stuff. As the water is cooling down a little bit. Maybe these fish are pushing up. We'll see. Okay, I lied. We're not in a cove yet, but we're gonna run one more shallow main lake grass flat. Got some rocks up here too, with some wood mixed in. See if we can't get lucky. Hey, let me throw this shaky head up there real quick. See if I can catch. <laughs> Ace has got a nice bird's nest. After I catch this fish here, broke right where my line was nicked. I don't know. Bam! <laughs> Good net job. Yeah, well, you put it on my back. That was the point. Well, it, I think it might be a jigs all day kind of day, guys. Nice little uh, pound and three quarter keeper. Black and blue bass band jig. And Ace is filling up the live well. All right, well, we got one fish in the boat. Came from inside of a cove about halfway back. Actually, the first, say the first quarter. So we're gonna go try some more coves. 
I'll try to make it happen. Thanks. Okay. I oh, I see it. I don't think so, but it's a keeper. Oh, it came up. I saw it though. It swam out. Yeah. It's been a pretty rough day. It's one o'clock now. I've just caught four fish all under 14 inches in the last probably 20 minutes. Bluff walls, a little bit of grass, and I've been catching them on this little zoom finesse worm. This is June bug. It's like a little, I don't know, quarter ounce shaky head. I'm just letting it sit along the edges of the grass. The fish are picking it up and rolling with it. But um, another big part of this pattern is I have to keep my feet in the water. I haven't caught a fish without sitting down with my feet in the water. So it's like biosonics. I think the fish, the fish just like the smell of my feet. I'm gonna try to catch one that's a keeper now. That one. I don't know. It's a keeper though. Brown? Yeah. <sighs> Thank God. Ooh. 112. Second fish of the day. He's actually a good keeper too. He's like fat. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Turn out to the right. Mm. Just get whacked. Yeah. Get. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, is it on? No, it's not on. Oh, turn out to the right. Uh, we'll fish this point a little bit because I got a bit to, uh, bite as well. Get bit? Yeah. Oh man, Ace is on the bite. Oh. Oh my God, I did too. Broke my scrounger off. I've found a bunch of bait. We've had a few bites. I broke one off. Ace has had a couple bites as well. It's two o'clock. We got, you know, hour and a half left. Two fish in the box. Looking for a Christmas miracle. Throwing a chatterbait. Ace throwing a scrounger. Wind picked up a little bit, so hoping that it's going to turn these fish on. Maybe get a couple more. That's it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you guys with too much of that tournament video. It was a super, super tough day for us. We just had a really bad summer in general, fishing wise. We didn't do too much pre fishing, we had a lot of other stuff going on. So the tournaments did not go very well for us. However, we did make the classic, we scooted in right at 15th place. So they take the top 15 teams throughout the year and then two additional teams who fish every single tournament with the most weight. So barely made it in, 15th place, we'll take it. I mean, we didn't fish the res too, too hard this year, but we are definitely excited for the classic and we hope that the fish will turn on a little bit more for us or we can figure something out. And that's gonna take place the 20th and 21st of October. So next month we'll be fishing that two day fishing tournament. Can't wait, it's gonna be a good time. And till then, I'm gonna keep trying to make videos as much as I possibly can. Right now I'm just resorting to borrowing friends' cars and getting around on the bike and doing some filming like that. But do me a favor if you can, please. We have two more days for this booster program for the Jigs All Day t-shirts. We're actually gonna do a little giveaway. Um, if you buy a shirt, you'll automatically be entered into a pool to win a $50 Tackle Warehouse gift card. So go ahead, click that link below. They're 23 bucks for a shirt, 33 for like the t-shirt hoodie. And all of the money that I make from that is gonna go directly into buying a new car. So as you heard from Rob earlier in this video, the thing is totaled, unfortunately. I'm an idiot and <laughs> Just gonna have to figure out something else from here. But hopefully I'll be getting a new truck within the next month or so and getting back to fishing as much as I possibly can. So as soon as I get that car, I'm probably gonna go into another 30 day fishing challenge. Something for you guys to look forward to. Something I'm definitely looking forward to. Right now I'm just using this time to make as much money as I possibly can, kind of relax and recharge and get ready for another crazy challenge. So thank you guys for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed. Like, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And we will see you guys very soon.